everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our final spring decorating video here in the master bedroom, or at least the last one for a while. I have not done my spring front porch yet and I probably won't do that for a couple of weeks. It is just not warm enough to do that. We've had a few warm days. Last week was gorgeous. This week is colder and rainier and in fact we had snow last night and when we woke up this morning there was still some it was a dusting on the ground it is all melted by now but that's how kind of cold we're talking so i'm not quite ready to go out onto the front porch and do all of that stuff because i do like to have live plants out on my front porch it's the only time i work with live plants because i can only take care of like one or two before they die so i'm gonna do those later but this for now is going to be the last of the spring decorating for at least two to three weeks, I estimate. Hopefully the weather will cooperate with that. But I am so excited to be decorating in here. Most of my house, if you've watched my previous spring decorating videos, are purple and green. We use a lot of those colors. But up here, I kind of want to go in a different direction. I got a lot of beautiful light pink items that were not specifically Valentine's Day to use in my kitchen and dining room for Valentine's Day, and I think I am going to reuse them up here for spring. I kind of want to have a little bit more of an elegant and sophisticated look up here. This is the master bedroom, and I'm not gonna do any Easter in here either. It's just gonna be plain spring. So I've got a couple new things to show you. There have been a few changes in here as well that I will walk you through, but otherwise we're gonna get straight to the decorating. So as you might already be able to tell, we do have some new additions into the room here and it's just stuff that got moved out of what was once my office and is now the new baby's room. I got that shelf over there and the desk from Amazon. The chair is just an old one that we had from Ikea that we had with our old table, dining table. We kept the nice, the two nicer chairs we had just because they were really sturdy and we always want to make sure that we have some extra chairs in case people come over because we only got six chairs with the new table that we got a couple years ago. So I did get some baskets for better storage so you can't see everything. These are just from Target. I got a big one for over here and then of course you can see four small ones are already filled to the brim over there. They're just my um, crafting supplies. Now I did get two new items for this room. I apologize for the unmade bed. Our sheets are in the wash and actually they should probably be dry now. So we'll be able to do that. But this sign is from Hobby Lobby Spring Shop this year. I love the green. I love the little saying and it's gonna go right above our bed. So I'm probably gonna put that on before I make the bed. And then this, is a beautiful peony. I think it's peony. It's supposed to be peony. I doubt it says. White peony garland. It does say. From Michael's. I used to have a white hydrangea garland that I used to put on top of our headboard, but it has been used for many, many years, and some of the, the blossoms were starting to regularly fall off, so... I decided to get a new one and I decided on this one because not only was it white but there is a little bit of pink in it which is going to go with the kind of pinky spring theme that we're going to do in here. So we are going to start here with putting up the sign and the garland. I figured it would be easier to do before I made the bed so I didn't mess up all of my hard work by stomping all over it. I will definitely link both of these items along with anything else I can find down below for you. Now the two window arches on either side of the bed above the nightstands are also from Hobby Lobby. They used to be white. I did paint them black when I painted the walls in this room white just before fall last year. I love having them in this room, but of course white on white just wouldn't have been seen. I actually think I love them black more than I did when they were white, and now I'll get a few more years out of them.
take a moment here to welcome you all to my channel, whether you're new or returning. Thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Amanda. I'm a stay at home mom to two little boys with another baby boy due to arrive in June. I love sharing all things home and seasonal decorating here on my channel. And if you enjoy all those things as well, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any decorating I've got coming up. I've got some fun videos planned and you won't want to miss it. spring and summer months, my husband and I prefer a lighter quilt on the bed instead of a heavier duvet or comforter like we had in the winter. We tend to run hot while we sleep and even though we have air conditioning in our house, unlike a lot of homes in the Pacific Northwest where we live, our second floor still tends to be hot during the warmer days. I think this house just wasn't built for effective air conditioned airflow because it was put in later by a previous owner rather than being here since it was built. Most homes here just don't have that. I love having a vase of florals or greenery on this dresser, so I brought up a thrifted vase I found last year and put some of these pinky purple tulips from Amazon in it. And of course, I don't think this dresser would be complete without a candle. I went and got a whole bunch of new Bath and Body Works candles for spring, and they have Sorry, I'm like out of breath from doing all of that. I've been running up and down the stairs, getting stuff from downstairs. But um, the packaging, they have a whole line of packaging that looks very similar to this. This one is called Springtime in Paris. It has like a peachy smell to it. Oh my God, it smells so good. It says soft peach, lotus blossom, fresh bergamot, and natural, or with, they all say with natural essential oils. But um, this one smells really good. I have the Fresh Cut Lilacs one, which is in an equally beautiful container. It has this kind of background on it, but lilacs and other flowers on it. Also really stunning. So if you're looking for really beautiful spring candles, Bath & Body Works has some really beautiful packaging. And of course you can always find, they have so many scents, you can find one that works for you. I took down my tiered tray in here for winter, but I decided to bring it back out for spring. I used a lot of the items that I had down on my entryway tiered tray that weren't obviously Valentine's Day, and I tried to go for a general spring theme. 
Most of what I used are items from Hobby Lobby or the Target Dollar Spot. They have a lot of good smaller items that will fit on trays and they are also at great prices. I just don't want to be spending a ton of money on small things for tiered trays. For the smaller plants, however, the Hearth and Hand line always has great mini plant options that come out with all of their seasonal collections. They fit perfect on most tiered trays. And speaking of tiered trays, I did have a subscriber request a video on how to decorate tiered trays for spring and summer. I know I don't go over a lot of my process when I decorate them in these videos, so I'll probably do a video on that in April after Easter, since most of March has already been planned out. If you're interested in a video like that as well, definitely let me know down in the comments so you can let me know any other kind of videos you'd like to see from me as well. I want to create videos that you all want to see and requests are more than welcome. I love these faux florals I got from Hobby Lobby. The ranunculus buds are so pretty and I love them paired with the lemon leaf and purist buds. I did find out what they were called. I put them in this tall vase here on the top shelf of the new to this room bookcase and I wondered for a minute if it was too tall for this smaller bookcase but ultimately I think it looked really nice filling up that empty space between the top of the shelves and the photo collage frame above it plus I really love the look next to the curtains I think it looks really great on our larger bookshelf, I place this wall art of some white peonies from Hobby Lobby at the back and added a small floral bud vase from the Target dollar spot next to it, along with an old vintage style clock from Target as well that my husband actually got for himself years ago and now no longer uses. So good for him, he got major style points for that and some candlesticks from Michael's a couple years back. that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love how it all turned out. I think this is my most favorite decorating job that I've done in here. I don't know. I think maybe with the addition of the desk and the extra shelf, it just feels a little bit more full in here, a little less empty. I don't know if I will like that long term. I don't know if any of those things will move around. Right now they're going to stay where they are, mostly because when the baby gets here, we have our bassinet along that wall so that we really don't have any other options. So we're going to keep it like this for now, but I really love all the pinks in here and I love how it all turned out. It feels very cozy but still sophisticated and that's kind of what I wanted since this is, you know, the adults room. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below. It really does so much to help support my channel and be sure to subscribe before you go. I've got some, a spring front porch coming up, a home tour. I've got the nursery and name reveal for the new baby coming up too. Lots of stuff coming up in the next couple of months. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.